Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I post videos all about beauty, luxury, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And in today's video, I have another Louis Vuitton unboxing. I did pick up an SLG, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the item and show you some accessories that I picked up for it, as well as show you like a mini setup of the item. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep watching. All right. So if you saw my last Louis Vuitton unboxing, I had picked up the Felici. If you haven't seen it, I will definitely go ahead and link it so you can check that out. But in that same shopping trip, I picked up an SLG. Now, if you watched my wishlist video, you'll know this was an item on my list and I finally decided to just take the plunge and get it. Now, this box is huge. This is the same box they put the Felici in. I know they're having box shortages, so it's possible that they just didn't have you know, a smaller box. But the item comes in this dust bag. Of course, you always want to keep your items in the dust bag when you're not using them, just because it protects them and makes sure they stay nice. So, I did pick up the Louis Vuitton PM Agenda, or Small Ring Agenda, as they call it now, in the monogram canvas. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos regarding planners, then you'll know I also had the MM Agenda at one point earlier in the year, but I did return it. It just didn't really work out for me. I prefer to do my main planning in my Erin Condren. I don't have to worry about ruining it. You know, as an everyday planner, the MM size was just a little bit, I just really couldn't bring myself to use it to the fullest extent because I didn't want anything to happen to it. So you may be thinking, well, why the heck did you pick up the PM Agenda and you can't even fit as much in it? But the main reason I picked this up is because I wanted a smaller agenda that I could use on the go. You know, I kind of hate having to carry around my Erin Condren because it's just, it's big, you know, it's bulky, it's big. I'd much rather be like an at-home agenda, but I do need to have like my planned stuff with me, you know, and I also use that agenda to make lists sometimes. So the purpose of this is going to be for like list making. Now I did pick up um, the month on two page inserts from an Etsy shop. I don't have those today, but I didn't want to delay filming the video. So I'll just go ahead and throw up like a photo of the inserts that I picked up and I will list the shop. So I did get a monthly view because I wanted to be able to notate anything like super important, you know, and that way I'd have it with me on the go. Or if I'm out and you know, somebody says, Hey, we're going to do this on this date. I can go ahead and quickly jot it down so I don't forget. So it does have a snap button closure and I opted for the monogram because I don't know, there was just something about this PM agenda and the monogram that just spoke to me. I just really love it. You know, I go, it's so hard for me because I love Damier Ben and I love the monogram. So it was really a tough choice. If they didn't have the monogram, I might have gotten the Aben, or Bean, however you say that. But I really did kind of want the monogram in this case. So I'm really happy that I got it. And then you open it up and it does have this nice, like light brown leather interior. It's not really light brown. It's it's lighter than this, but it's not like white brown. And it does have the six rings, and it has three credit card slots, a little slip pocket here behind this, and then also a slip pocket here. Now I have heard that this can hold your passport, and that's another reason I really kind of wanted this, because whenever we're able to travel again, is the idea of a passport fitting behind this, which I'll try to maybe like insert a clip of me testing that to see if it will fit, I thought that idea was great because I can have some note paper, I can have our whole itinerary and like important information in here and then I can have, you know, my passport, I can have some important cards. I can essentially almost like skip a wallet and just bring this and this be like my travel companion. So I think this is going to be a very versatile piece and it will fit in, you know, it'll fit in my Marmont bag, it'll fit in my croissant definitely fit in my Neverfull, and I believe it could fit in many like smaller bags, so I think that's great. Now, I do wanna show you some things that I picked up to go with it, and I will link them down below. So I did pick up this baby pen from Amazon. It is a ballpoint pen that just snaps down, and you know, I did pick this up because I wanted to be able to fit a pen in the pen loop, and it is a very teeny tiny pen loop. But I am kind of debating on whether I would actually want to put this in my bag like this, 
just because I'm so worried of like having a pen explode, I usually keep my pens in like a Vera Bradley pencil pouch and then I like keep that in my bag. So if God forbid something exploded, the Vera Bradley does have a lining on the inside that would protect it in my bag. But you know, this I probably will maybe just use it with it because it's not like, you know, I would be using this often, so I feel like I would be able to monitor whether it's fine, and it is ballpoint, it's not like a gel ink or anything. So I do, I can't put it in there right now because they had put a stupid sticker around this, and I need to get like goo gone or something to try to get the stickiness off. I should have just left the sticker, but I hated the way it looked. It was like a barcode, and I really just liked the silver. So then also from Amazon, I picked up the Filofax pocket size. That is another thing I want to mention. The PM or small ring agenda is equivalent to a pocket size planner if you are trying to buy inserts for it. So I did pick up the Filofax lined paper. <laughs> it is a pack of 100. And what I'm gonna do is these will be for like general list keeping or whatever. And I think what I plan to do is when I put these in the agenda so that I don't have to like keep opening and closing it if I wanna take pages out, is I will cut little slits in. That way I can just like pull it out, put it in. I think that would be really handy so that I'm not constantly opening the binder rings. And then I also wanted to show you guys what I, oh, I picked this up too. This is Filofax from Amazon. It's a little envelope organizer. I thought maybe if I wanted to like put a few like planning stickers in here or if I get like a business card on the go or a receipt, I can go ahead and stick it in here. You know, anything that I might need, you know, important. And then I did pick up a laminator, which I'm really excited about. And I picked up some like fun papers from Michaels and I decided to make some of my own inserts. So I picked up a sticker kit um, that came with these cute little now like checklist sticky notes. So I made this little insert and it's like tiny and it has the holes and I cut slits in it. I will show you everything in the planner. So that way I can move this around throughout the planner. Easy, I don't have to do anything, I don't have to open the rings, and that's what I plan on kind of doing with this too. So I thought this was really handy, so if I need to make like a quick sticky note list, I can, and I laminated it. I did this all on my own, I'm pretty proud of myself. And then I made these cute little dividers. So as you can see, I have them labeled with like what I plan to use them for, like lists and to-dos. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe buy some like sticker tabs that I can put on them. That way I can like change it around if I want to. But this one is a pretty like pineapple. It's like gold foil pineapple. And I thought this went well with it because it is like gold foiled roses and like flowers. I thought it was really pretty. So I kind of plan on doing, you know, like pineapple, flower, pineapple. And then I did create like my own dashboard with a photo of me and my boyfriend. So I thought that was cute. And then I also picked up from Amazon these Micron Fine Line pens. I do have like a couple of them missing because I'm using them, but it comes with 0.2 millimeters, 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.35, 0 0.45, and 0.50. I absolutely love the way these write and I like having the really nice fine point. I think these are really nice. So if you do like these kinds of pens, then I will definitely, you should check them out. I will have them linked down below. I saw someone in a video using these and I, I really liked the way her writing looked. So that's why I decided to pick them up. I am a sucker for stationery. And then the last items I picked up from Etsy were from a shop called Paper Calling. I do believe I have ordered from her before when I had ordered some of the MM size inserts, but this time I just picked up some to-do checklists. I like that it has a little check boxes and I can write out like a general to do for like the week or something. That would be really nice to do. Then I picked up a checklist for shopping. Thought this would be nice if I want to do like my grocery list for the week or just like, and it is front and back so that's nice. So like as the week goes on, if I think of things I can quickly jot them down in here. And then I did also pick up a cute little like wish list checkbox. I have things, my wish list is constantly growing so I thought it'd be fun and if I'm ever out and about and I see something I like, I can go ahead and quickly jot it down so I don't forget about it. And what's nice about this too is I can put things on my wish list and then, you know, over time your style changes so you can kind of go and like reference your wish list and be like, huh, you know, I don't even want XYZ anymore. Cross it off or if you do get it, you can check it off. 
I thought that was nice. And then I will also probably use these, like they're just the regular lined ones, for keeping track of other things. Like if I want to keep track of some savings goals or, you know, maybe like I can write down all my bills that happen every month. That way I have it all in one place. So I think that would be really nice. And I do think I'm really going to enjoy planning in this planner. You know, I mean, it is expensive for a small planner, but, you know, it's not that bad. I think, let me tell you exactly how much it is. So the small ring agenda does retail for 395 US dollars before tax. So yes, it is kind of expensive for just a little planner, but since I do plan on using it, you know, all the time, huh, you know what's kind of funny is I feel like I can see, it almost looks like it's like glitter, but I think it's just a little bit of a shine in the canvas the way the light's hitting it. But anyway, I think this is a really nice piece and I'm excited to get using it. I will definitely go ahead and like update you guys down the road if I change my mind on it or you know, whatever. But let's go ahead and switch angles and I'm gonna show you like a little mini setup and how I intend to use the planner. All right, so I have all my goodies and I did go ahead and grab my passport so we could test if it fits in this little back pocket. And honestly, depending on it, if I truly do end up loving this, I may consider getting it like hot stamped because I think that looks really pretty. Oh, and I also wanted to note mine is made in France. I don't typically really care where it's made, honestly, but that's kind of nice. Let's see if the passport does fit. So it does in fact fit back there. Now, it definitely does like push out the leather a little bit, but I think for like just travel, you know, it won't be too big of a deal and it does shut down. So that's really nice to be able to just have that with you like on the go. But obviously I won't be storing my passport in there. So to open it up, you just click that. And then the paper calling shop did send me a free little dashboard. So since I don't want to show you my personal photo that I will be putting in with me and my boyfriend, I'll go ahead and just stick this in as like a example. So I'll have my dashboard. Then I will go ahead and put in like my calendar tab, which I don't have the calendar insert, so I can't put those in. Then obviously the calendar papers would go there. Then I'll put my lists and to do's, so I can go ahead and fit those in there now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put like a few pieces of paper. Um, hold on, actually. Let's go ahead and take, we'll go ahead and take some of the lists. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take to do. I'll go ahead and put that. We'll go ahead and do shopping since that would obviously be another thing. And I'll probably get some like tab stickers to differentiate these as well. And then wish list. I can go ahead and fit some lined paper. Then I will go ahead and put this little divider, which will be like miscellaneous stuff. I may have to hole punch these a little bit better. Like I said, I did make these. Yeah, I have to hole punch this. Okay, I'll have to fix that a little bit later, later but whatever. Then I'll go ahead and put in a few more like lined pieces of paper just for like miscellaneous notes. And then we'll close it up. Yeah, the rings are very small, so you're not gonna fit like a whole ton. But then let's say I want to keep in the calendar section my little, you know, my little now stickers, I can. So then I will just close it all up. Yep, we can close her up. And then everything is in there nice and neat. So it's really gonna be a handy little tool to have. And like I said, I will probably go ahead and get some like tab stickers that I can put on the edge and then maybe a couple for like the top so I can notate like the difference between the to-dos, the shopping, and the wish list. But I am very, very excited about this planner. I think it's gonna be a great little thing to have to carry around and once I get my calendar inserts, I'll be all set to go. I think those are gonna come in a couple days but I didn't wanna wait to film this video. So that is everything that fits. All right guys, so that is everything that is going to be in my planner. Maybe down the road, once I get to planning in it a little bit more, I will do like another full on flip through and maybe show some like stickers and stuff like that. But for now, I am very excited about this little baby. If you have it, definitely let me know in the comments what are some of your like planning essentials. So far, like I said, since I'm not using this as like my everyday planner, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need to have it as like a 
I don't have to have everything in here. Like my life planning will be in my Erin Condren life planner and this will be like my on the go baby. So I'm very excited to be able to like leave my Erin Condren at home because if I'm at work and then something comes up that I need to write down, I can just go ahead and take one of the notes pages and jot it down and then I can transfer in whatever that important detail is into my life planner. So, you know, I've actually gotten a lot more simple with my planning too, especially with like the pandemic happening. There's not so many things to plan, but you know, it'll be definitely nice to have everything like on the go. Another thing that I plan on doing too is like maybe creating like a master, like I said, maybe like a master finance sheet that I can laminate and I'll always know like exactly what my budget is and like some of my reoccurring bills. Then I can also do like a master cleaning schedule so I can do that too. And it would be nice to have that like nice and just in front of me so like if I'm you know if I'm at the store I can be like oh this week I'm gonna be cleaning and you know, I'll be dusting so maybe I need to pick up a duster and I can add that to my list and then I can like reference it every week and say okay look this week I need to do the bedding I need to do this I need to do that I need to wipe down the cabinets you know it'll be nice to just have everything like all in one spot and a nice little handy planner so that is pretty much it for this video that wraps everything up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And that is all I have today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.